Hey guys, Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you want to celebrate. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time in these holidays. I got a little little treat for you guys. Uh, we got this guy right here, uh, Matteo Tagliariol. He uh, is the 2008 Olympic champion in Beijing. Uh, and he absolutely just killed it out there. Just look at all this gold, all these gold medals right here. Um, great fencer, a very fun to watch and very active. And he graciously agreed to do a little bout review from uh, one of his first victories in Bern 2008. So ch in the meantime, though, say thank you. Please go, uh, go, say, go say thank you by following his Instagram, uh, Forza Taglia. Also, check out his YouTube channel. It is an Italian style kind of vlog, but uh, he uploads stuff from uh, his fencing career all the time. So it's a lot of high level resources that you can either learn from or just have fun. And also feel free to check out his website just uh, as a way to say thank you. Uh, but other than that, uh, let's get on the analysis and tell us what you like, didn't like. If you want to see more, I'd uh, be happy to do more. So thank you for watching and take care, guys. Okay, so... Let's watch uh, this bout. It's uh, in Bern 2008. Uh, do you remember if you had made like finals before this? Or was, was this like early? Actually, career? this is my second victory. And the first victory was the week before in, in Tallinn. We oh, had, so you like, were on fire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting to win, mostly because I won the week before. So I was like, I'm not going to win a second competition in like a week after. <laughs> But um, I was to be was supposed to be in um, in shape, in perfect shape for Bern. Like we we we, so that was like I was already qualified for the Olympics, and and basically we were like trying to make some competition to um, to see how how uh, I was physically and how I was performing. And um, Bern was one of the goals. Like the goal was to win the competition, so the goal was achieved. I was not supposed to win in theory the week before, but and then at that time your coach was Mazzoni, right? Yeah, yeah. My coach was Angelo Mazzoni. Um, I don't remember why he was not there uh, because he was not there at the competition in fact i was with uh, gianni muzio which was his like assistant at the moment and he was also a national team coach but in general i grew up um like for me it's very important working with the coach at home but not so much during the competition so i'm normally i go like alone i just need just a couple of hints sometimes you know and then when you're like in trouble they just tell you something but in general i i yeah I so you feel like so just, um, if you're not ready in the moment you shouldn't you're probably not ready at all anyway yeah exactly like i think you have to like you win normally you win in in training not not in competition okay <laughs> that's, that's the right. way i feel and then so here you were in the final against abajo and to me, like, this guy's a monster. Like, you look at him and he's, like, 6'5". He's huge. Uh, even, like, next to you, you 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 look relatively small. Um, how do you, like... Like, I walk up to him and I'm like, this guy's huge. I don't know how to impose myself. Um, how, how do you find your own... How do you find your way to impose your game on him? I mean, at the time, I was pretty confident. I mean, I'm... I mean, in general, I knew, of course, I could, I could lose, but I had I was pretty confident with my fencing, and also Abajo is um, like I'll, I almost I think I always won against him because it, all the match were like this one really close, you know, it was never an easy match, but um, I could spot his kind of fencing um, quite easily, so I I knew what to do. The hardest part was to do it, of course, because when you when you're speaking about top level fencer, it's never easy. But uh, Abajo for me was a good match in general. I, I knew I had to move. I knew I had to uh, try to make it more um, 
technical but not in a like like he was stronger than me like literally strong wise so i knew that literally if he, if he was like catching my blade was probably gonna be like i would probably lose my sword so um, i tried to to you know engage disengage use my speed to try like enter and exit the the, the distance that's what i was trying to do all the time against him i actually met him that year like two or three times and the last one was during olympics and you know it was never an easy match but i was pretty confident against him and that was also the reason why sometimes I, I was almost uh like i was risking to lose because i was too confident sometimes on 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 my fencing but yeah, yeah you know i yeah yeah like the end of the match is uh pretty interesting <laughs> Exactly. That's... No, I know, I know, I know. I perfectly know this match. This is my like second victory, but uh, I think I started doing like podium one or two years before. Like actually, when I came out of uh, under twenty, uh, I think first year I I haven't done uh, any results. Second year I think I done like a couple of final, and then third year I when I was twenty three. I think I did like one or two podiums. And then the year before, it was 2007, I did like six or seven podiums in a row, like in during one season, but zero victories. So definitely for me, 2008, my goal was to win, you know, because I was tired of like, like having result but not win. So what, what do you think was, changed in your head? So like you went from like, you were good already. That was clear, but like you went from like good to like really good. What, what, what do you think changed in your head? I think it's the process. Like I started working with, um, like I, I had a very good coach till I was 19. Then I had to move be, mostly because of sparring. I didn't have a lot of sparring. I found, uh, Mazzoni, which, um, to me, it was the perfect, uh, let's say, continuation of what, what, what I was doing. It was, there were improvement in his fencing, but it was very similar to the fencing I was already doing. So for me, it was perfect. I, I moved to Milan, and where there was a lot of strong fencer. Actually, the, the, the national team uh, of Beijing Olympics, we were all training together in the same gym. So like three out of four were coming from the same coach and the same gym. And so I had, uh, you know, the, it, it, it was just the process. Like I started working better in, let's say, 2003. Then it took, you know, a couple of years to make good results. And then 2008, I was ready to, to actually perform. I didn't change a lot. The only thing I changed between 2007 and 2008 was that in 2008, I was more relaxed. I was actually less focused than 2007. 2007, I was too much focused, in my opinion, on training. And 2008, so, while no, I was you didn't have focused, good balance. Yeah, you know, I was still focused, but I was a little more easy, you know. And how how, how did you find switching to Mazzonia? I mean, I watched your lessons on your channel, and yeah. uh, he, he talks a lot. <laughs> Yeah. So it looks uh, not, really interesting. Not with everybody. Not with everybody. Like me and Angela are very similar. Uh, and we, you know, we like to, to, like, I, he has to talk a lot with me because I make a lot of questions because he normally tells me, like, you have to do this. And I'm telling him maybe, no, I don't feel like it because of this, <laughs> you know? Or maybe, yeah, I like it, but I think we can do this, you know? So we have to like, basically every coach that works with me, since my first coach, they have to talk a lot because um, you're, I don't you, like You're coaching. the one who questions a lot. Yeah, I have to know why, because I need to be confident in what I'm doing and I need to understand the, like every single movement, every single situation. And I prefer to ask question, you know, for me, Training is, that's why I'm telling you, training is harder than, than competition because in training, like I figure out every possible option and uh, I'm very perfectionist during training. And I think in competition, I'm not that perfectionist, but that's better because- Well, it's time, it's time to win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, I found even myself that Eric killed me on this. He said, uh, go to practice and lose. Like, yeah, you yeah, should yeah. lose a lot. And at first, I was kind of pissed off because I was, like, getting my ass kicked. Uh, and then after, like, it, it takes months, even a, over a year before you start seeing the result. And then obviously, we, like, we had lockdown, too, so I couldn't even go out. <laughs> And then once lockdown ended, I, I found that losing more practice, I got the competition. I didn't care. I had the answer all the time. Exactly, because you have to, like, for, for example, now I'm in a gym where, in general, I win. And I don't feel like it's a good, um, it's a good training, you know. So sometimes I push myself throughout situation where I have more chances to lose because I prefer to lose in training than in competition. Yeah, you're pushing yourself. All right, yeah. let's move on to this bout. So then, so you show up to Abajo. So what was your, like, I, you, I guess you can't think of the, I don't know, do you, do you think of the bout as a whole or do you think of it period per period or even point per point? Yeah, I mean, uh, I knew I had to push him because um, because he wanted to push me to, to the back of the of the strip, so I had to to not not making him doing that, and and I wanted I told you to avoid his his blade, and to try to not make him do his like long attack, yeah. which was very strong and very uh, very hard to to beat. Also, he was very you know he was very tall, but he was very good at like low targets. So I knew that I had to to stay focused on that. Didn't go very well, but, <laughs> but that's okay. That was that's my... life. <laughs> All right, let's start it. Let's see how it goes. I thought this was pretty funny because both of you have uh, a lot of attitude on the piece. My main focus was to not make, you know, a lot of mistakes, basically. Okay. So a hit like that, right? You did, you, you did coupe yeah. on the top. In my, in yeah. my mind, were you just trying and it hit? <sighs> no. Or that was if premeditated? You know, yeah, I mean, uh, for me, staying safe, it's also try to stay far. And try to make like shorter, shorter. Uh, you know, this is like short on. You know, I do like a, a, a fake attack on his lower part of the arm, and then he, 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 you know, he's like trying to to parry second. You know, like lower, and then I go on top. Either way, this is a kind of action where I can either score, or not score, but I'm most likely not going to be hit. So it, it's a, you know, it's a safe attack. Yeah, like for you, the worst case, nothing happens. For him, yeah, if, if exactly. or for him, he'll get hit. Exactly, exactly. He can just avoid the touch or or get hit, but he's not going to to hit me. That's fake. Of course, yeah, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. So but let's say in the like... bout though, when you yeah, well, it didn't even look that hard anyway. Um, in a bout when something like that happens, what do you think? Do you just not care at all? And it's, I guess this is about how you probably care less. But <laughs> I mean, so first of all, Abajo is a friend of mine, mm. but we're not friends in in the strip. Of course, not. I know he has to do his like drama. You know, like it, it's part of the game. As long as it's um, he's not doing anything, uh, uh, you know, against me as a person. I'm fine with that. It's part of the game. So yeah, as long as it's okay, respectful. I do, yeah, I, exactly. I do the same sometimes. Um, except for that, uh, you know, I know the way I hit. I know when I'm light and when sometimes, you know, sometimes happens that, that yeah. I hit a little harder. So when I know that I that I made something wrong, I normally, uh, you know, try to, to, to ask. Uh, yeah, know, say, say sorry. Say something. sorry. Yeah. Situation like this, I just don't care. 
Oh, wow, so you stayed really far this one. Yeah, you know, that's what I was trying to do, you know? Same exact actions, but going like backwards. Because he tries to, to come closer with the same action, and I do the same action, but going backward, you know? Yes. Oh, you, yeah, you started under just the same. Exactly. So for me, you know, again, I try to do the same because if it works, why should you change? Oh, yeah. Wow. But, you know, this is a problem because I try to do the same thing, but I don't check the fact that he actually come, you know, forward while I go forward. And that's one of his like top hits, like foot. Yeah. So yeah, he had a priority. Yeah. You know, he, he, he waited for me to, to come because, you know, I did twice basically the same action and I was trying to do the third time, <laughs> but but without like looking that he was not moving this time, you know? Maybe I did hit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's smart. He went high line this time. You know, he was, as I told you, he was very strong with the blade and very long with his lunge and with the attack. This one was supposed to be double for me, but some something happened. No luck. That's okay. <laughs> But yeah, you know, that day, I think I won like every match or every match except one at the priority. So, oh I was, my God. you know, I was okay with that because I was like, literally every match that day was like one touch for me, one touch for my opponent, one for me, one for my opponent. So I was like used to that. It was very calm uh, in that period of my life in the strip. Yeah, that's a... Uh... I don't, like I, I don't know about you, but like let's like you're leading two zero, and like within thirty seconds it's like two two. Yeah. But yeah. um. But, go ahead. Yeah, I mean match is fifteen, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, like even if I was two zero, I wouldn't have won. <clears throat> you know this. I'm like a little pissed because of like <laughs> fencing because I know that it's the wrong you know action, and I'm and. I'm mad of the fact that I did it because, you know, he's always very high so he can go low. But if you go low immediately, of course, he goes You just straight. stayed on top. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can tell you're pissed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I, I, I myself, you know, I'm like, whoa, how can, why, why am I doing this, you know? But the difference, you know, between me and him in this situation is that I'm trying to move him, you know, like I'm trying to move myself, but, but to move him. And he's trying not to like follow my tricks. Kind yeah, of. he doesn't want to follow you because otherwise it's yeah. your trap. Exactly. That's the fun part of fencing for me, you know, when you, you get to do what you want, even you yeah, when, when there's a lot of game. <laughs> That's what, yeah. Okay, so this is a technically it's like a wrong action, but the timing for me is perfect, you know, because I was like, in fact, he reacts, you know. What I want him to do is to react, not yeah, to. Yeah, you like, had him right here. Is. Exactly. So he had to like force this parry, so I had the chance to. to I mean, actually, touch it the third time, but either way, I'm, you know, I have a little advantage because I go with with my guard on his blade, yeah. so I'm blocking, and then and then I score. Of course, yeah, the yeah. action it was not not supposed to be like this, but uh, the advantage of timing make you see what your opponent is doing. So either yeah, because you were in balance the whole time. He was basically almost falling over. Yeah. This was a problem with the number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 
You know, I always try to 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 uh, begin with this, uh, you know, short action on his lower uh, part of the arm, because you know, from the front, like he's already taller than me, and in general, I stay uh, more like bended, more low with my legs than him. So if you see him from the front, you like literally see like his guard. Well, you just see this, like... yeah. <laughs> So I had to make him move his arm first, otherwise I could not like pass in my way of seeing fencing. You see, oh, this was a direct attack basically, and I get hit. If I don't make him do something before, I'm always late. Because he's very, you know, long and ready to do this. Yeah, this one is close too, though. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty confident that, I mean, also for me, in general, lower targets are better than, than, than upper. But with him, it's it's harder. Like, it's, it's very far, trust me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> very, very, very far. I've only fenced them in uh, in practice, so I, I don't have the the full ex but the full abajo experience. <laughs> and I I fence a uh, French grip, so going anything but body to me was like just I consider it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so like first break here. Uh, so you're down 4-3, what's on your mind? I mean, 4-3 for me, in general, it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, if, like, if you're like leading by one or losing by one or even, it's almost the same. I just need to uh, have feelings of, like, uh, I try to talk with my coach about the feelings I had uh, on the match, you know, like we had a like plan and I tell him maybe oh, I'm not able to do this plan. I'm I'm we should should uh, switch this or that. And this is probably what I was saying at the time. You know, I think he told me something. I was like, this is good. This is bad. You know, like I know that I have to make him move. I know that I cannot. I don't know. Uh, try to to attack immediately otherwise he like close the distance and that's what i think i think i'm going to um raise up the the rhythm a little bit uh because uh when abajo is moving a little more uh it's better yeah you get to be in control I, of the tempo yeah in fact if you see like i speed up the pace yeah. you know I just tried to make him move a little more. And then even the like, uh, here, oh, go ahead. Yeah, the problem here, in my opinion, is that I am moving more, but he's not moving very much. So that that's... Yeah, it's costing you a lot and him not as much. I mean, I was, you know, in a very good shape at the time and I was like 25 years old, so I was gay. But <laughs> except for that, um, what, what is uh, very important is that you... You know, your aim is to try to make move your opponent, not to you know move for nothing. And that's what I'm doing at the time. You know, I'm I'm moving a lot, but he's not very changing anything. Yeah, you're kind of playing by yourself. <laughs> exactly. So now six three. Are you uh, not not to say panicking, but what go? Oh seven three. I did. I forgot this one this far back. <laughs> So this is actually a banger. Um, so like now 7-3, yeah. what's in your mind? I definitely have to change something <laughs> because, you know, you see this one I, I parried on time, but it was so strong, you yeah. see, that he actually scored. <laughs> Look, here I parried. Yeah, you get it. But He's I no... could not, you know. I mean, <laughs> he moves you out of the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how strong he was. I think I'm going to push him, you know, like at the moment we, we fence mostly in the center of the strip and, and, and in my part of the strip, you see, so now I'm trying to push him a little more. 
and I keep trying to, you know, stay a little far. I think I'm going to like do a little more like attack from far and then try to enter the the, the distance to, you know, to stay close. Here, this one, you know, like short, long, short. I did like short at the yeah. hand, then I went to the foot, and then I went back immediately, you know, not to get hit more than actually try to score, you know. Here, parried. Hand. You get it on the hand. Yes, yeah, so you're staying yeah. very, very safe. You're not over committing. Yeah. Oh, now they show slow-mo. I think I'm gonna try to do, you know, it's, it's, I don't remember this, I mean, I remember this match in general, I don't remember every hit. Yeah, yeah of course, it's uh, been over but, 10 years. Um, yeah, in general, I would do that, you know, I try to stay safe, try, to, you know, I have to take a little, little risk, of course, otherwise the match is not gonna move. But, you know, I try to, to stay far and try to enter only when, when I'm very, very sure when I have the perfect timing. Again, it's the same action as before, the one that didn't, I didn't score. But basically, yeah. it's here. So when you say when... I'm um, very ahead. Well, then, like the timing is perfect. Do you just, uh, is it something like you look for, or just when you feel it, you go? Mm, I think I kind of feel it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, I do something like my work, my leg work, and my hand work. It's mostly to find timing, not the actual action. Mm. And when I find timing, I normally go, yeah. Yes, but okay, yeah, so when you feel the moment, and I guess uh, especially when you train that much, when you feel it, you feel it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, basically I try to stay safe in this, in, you know, in this moment. And I know, you know, Abajo is very strong, but it has like a, kind of like limited amount of action and situation so i at this point of the match i basically know what it's going to do yeah now like we're like i feel like you're in control you see i just this parried like i did like i did an attack i did um uh, i i closed the distance once and then this third one i parried so but i see as you see i always try to like avoid also with my body uh, a possible like hit and this is fourth one short long i knew it was going to parry like, actually. <laughs> yeah well especially like this is like on the pretty much on the la so odds yeah, are I, mean, I feel like you go there he's gonna react huge yeah that's because i told that's because i know that it's not gonna change too much his fencing because you know that's the way he fends so, so at this point, I'm, I mean, I'm not too confident, not overconfident, but I'm confident because he knows that I know that he's going to do that. Oh, this is a double. I thought it was single for me. <laughs> yeah, that was, I look like you're, you're, so let's see. Uh, yeah, because we didn't parry there. Well, I I love these uh, pump attacks. Even uh, you know, like Canon does it all the time too, uh, and it, they're they're so scary. But sometimes, like when you miss, you feel so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time you miss. <laughs> I don't know why they like now. Like this, two thousand eight, it it was not good. Two thousand. 20 would be like perfect yeah i think so i don't know like i think 
if I remember, like uh, before, is even if you just even touch a bit. Yeah. It was literally the first one, you know. Oh, I, I think I it's good. Not, my body language was not very, you know, because I told him like I don't hear you. You know, it was like I said house, like I didn't hear mm. any house. Or what do you think? Do you? Uh, like I, I hear some people, they're like never talk to the ref, like just don't. And then some people, they love it. What's uh, I love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's why ref don't love me a lot. Oh, well, that, that's fair. So like. Yeah, so like you think if you, I guess if you argue a bit, they're gonna think about it. They're gonna think about it more next time. Depends on the ref. Uh, you know, I'm very, I'm very into like, uh, like I know the rules very well, and I want them to apply the rules. Yeah. And sometimes, like, I freak out when they don't <laughs> apply the rules, literally. But I'm normally I'm very calm. I don't, you know, when I was younger, I was more energetic uh on that but now i still like point at the situation i'm like this is the rule why you just don't do this do do what you have to do you know like that that's that's your job you know oh uh, fair enough yeah so just respectfully within the rules again same you know the moment you distract a little bit you know, it as just, soon as you lost focus he picked yeah, you yeah And as you can see, you know, I tried to avoid the touch, you know, it's not that I'm not ready, <laughs> but, but he was very good at it, at this. Yeah, you were like less ready than usual. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nine, eight. Again, I actually don't, you know, this, this kind of match, it's, they are really hard to, to like read because it's not that I have, you know, something where I always score and something else where I don't score, you know, or some part of the strip where, you know, I'm very, like, I try to use statistics a lot, even during my match, you know, I'm like, if, if like, attack, I score more, if I defend, I score more or whatever, you know, I try to go where I score more and, 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 and do less what, what it's not working. In this kind of match, I don't think I have actually um you know uh, a, a solution at the time like even seeing this match after like 12 years now and i can tell the same you know the only thing i haven't really uh done yet is like to push him like very very well he hard. didn't he hasn't liked yeah, you. <laughs> you you didn't like uh, you could say you could you didn't but he's not exactly giving you the chance <laughs> exactly Exactly. That's 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 the point. Like I'm I'm trying to do something, but I haven't like I don't have in my hand anything like uh, to to to. Yeah, you don't have like you, you don't know that this yeah. is gonna work. Exactly. But I mean, I I repeat, like nine eight with three minutes ahead, it's not a big problem. You know, like it's just one. Hit. Yeah, it's not like it's like thirteen eight or something. Yeah. You know, I try to move a little more. I'm trying to to make an attack, like a proper attack. Yeah, I guess you don't want him to. You want him to stop being comfortable attacking yeah. your foot, basically. <laughs> you see, no. if. This this time he was moving with me a little more, and as as long as he's a big man, when he has to move a little more, it like slows down. You see, no, he didn't even react, or barely. Yeah, it was it was late. It was late. You know, it was late. He tried to parry, you know, but <laughs> it was too late. And that's that's why you know he's very good at like. You know, he, he literally tries to stare like at your face, you know, to to yeah. to do this, <laughs> because if he has to move, it's like very slow. <laughs> the kind of fencing of a Baco would be like perfect today, you know, 
Well, it's, very, it's, it's very physical nowadays. Yeah, it's physical and, you know, straight. Like, the, every move yeah. like you make, you know, just like, close the distance, you see? That's... Oh, you look pissed. <laughs> I mean, I was, because these to me are like stupid mistakes. And I told you, I was pissed at myself a lot. Yeah, it's something you had a chance to control, but you didn't. Yeah. Yeah, when you're fencing at, at, at World Cup final, you know, you have so many things to think. And sometimes you, you like do silly mistakes because of that. So, but even on that point, so like, I guess to you, you, you had already qualified for Beijing. So yeah. winning, winning this one for you is like just extra sauce on your, on your meal. Um. Yeah, I told you for me, this was important. This was important for me just because to like check my, my, like how, how I was feeling, uh, because we, we were working with my coach and with, with my physical trainer to like prepare some competition. We were like. We, we wanted to win like two or three competitions before Olympics uh, just to check uh, where I was with, with my body shape and with my like mental shape, with my fencing. And this was one of the goals uh, of the season. So for me, actually it was the first goal of the season. And for me, it was very important to win this competition because I wanted to like, like I knew that I worked uh, properly. But, and, and in general, you know, I, uh, winning is always good so <laughs> well no yeah i'm pretty sure no one shows up and they tell themselves i want to lose today <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah that that was the situation you know i wanted to win but not for you know any reason in particular because yeah i was already qualified oh I mean, yeah but you're already there you might as well <laughs> yeah Yeah, this is this is a match that I, that I like a lot because it's uh, you know it's like it's it's very hard you know it's one of probably the hardest match I won you know in, in my career and and but it's 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 nice you know like literally you have to like fence every single hit like I mean we've been twice uh, with a with a you know longer uh, amount of of, of hits but. I, in general, we were like always close from the beginning to the end, you know. Yeah, it was very back and uh, forth. Yeah, like, uh, you really had to test yourself. And now, what, what is you know what is going to happen now? I'm telling you, I was not expecting at all. Like, I was expecting, you know, that like I tried to make this risk. Uh, risky attack, but I was very, you know, sure it was going to back, back, um, you know, to take a step back. I need Instead, just... you know, exactly. The moment I move, it just go forward. I mean, I tried to surprise him, you know, but it was literally prepared. No, he was not surprised. <laughs> At all. <laughs> at all oh uh, that's i mean well you take your action and you you committed uh but so unfortunately yeah, so he did you know, i thought you know I, I felt i told you at the time i felt very confident uh with my fencing this was not a good idea but at the same time i was so i wanted to try to win the match immediately so i was like this is the moment to like try it and 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 i did Better yeah, well, to try now that yeah. It was one of those moments like where, where if you succeed, like you look like a genius, and yeah. then uh, yeah. if you fail, of course people are gonna say, "Why would you do that?" And you're like, "Well, you're not in my shoes, sorry." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Again, this. So one, like this one you know, would uh, like nowadays, I feel like it would, a hundred percent. You know, you know, yellow because I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know what I said to the ref, but. I, <laughs> It's probably I love you. 
because it was the second one, you know, I was like, it's not possible. Like, I was like, all the time I get hit because also, you know, Abaco, I told you, is very strong. So it's like, every time we were like closer, I, I was hitting, like, I had like a <laughs> guard or something somewhere. I was like, and every time I touch, it's, it's not, it's not good, you know? Was, well, I feel yeah. in like, when you get a touch like that on a guy like Abajo, like, if you yeah. think that he'd be comfortable, so you beat him in something yeah. he's stronger at. So you're like, come on, man. <laughs> Try again. Fight me. <laughs> you know, 27 seconds. I know I have to, like, I think at least try to, you know, take the blade in order to be sure to, to, to you know, score. It's hard to take the blade, you know, with a buckle. In fact, I take the blade as close as I can, but I literally lose my blade because it's so <laughs> strong that I lose, you know, look here. You know, I parry <laughs> and I lose my, my, my sword, you know? And he hit me. Yeah, because normally this you're one, able to get it higher up. But... You know, this one, again, we like literally embrace each other. Yeah, and they but gave it to him this time. Yeah, you know? That's what I'm like, like. It's not consistent. Let's see. Exactly. So I said nothing to the ref this time because, you know, I wanted to win the competition. But at the same time, I was like 11 seconds. And yeah, I had he, to score. If he's following his games. rules, this shouldn't work. But... Yeah. That's life. I mean, to me, to me, it was good, of course. But I'm saying it was not good. Like if we. Well, it wasn't good because if he gave yeah. you the other two, it should be fourteen, fourteen. But <laughs> exactly. at that point, nothing you can do. You still came super close to hitting. Yeah. Again, this seems a very you know hard uh, touch to, to to try, but to me. Mostly at the time, it was very easy, and I was scoring a lot of time. So I tried that one because I know that the blade, it was going to go out of my body, and then I could score. And I, w I was very confident on that action. And actually, in fact, the first part was good. That's yeah, you, you, part that, yeah. <laughs> you, like you got, you got more or less what you wanted. Yeah. Like, probably, like, this is probably the one guy where it, it might not work. Not work, yeah. <laughs> but it's also, like, it's like, um, like, it's your action, right? It's like if you ask Max Heinzer, is your flick hard? Yeah. He's going to say no. <laughs> yeah. It, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's your action. And then we kind of force you, 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 you do it to finish in uh, Beijing, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, I don't, I have, like, seven seconds, eight seconds, yeah. Okay, so this one was not prepared, you know, because I tried to, to go on the blade. I know he's trying to avoid, you see, and, and at this time, you know, my, my point is like, well, you know, I tried to take the blade till the last second, then I could not, so I see, I see that my point is like close to him, yeah. so I just go, you know. That's oh, what yeah. I was telling you before, I just felt the time, you know, I just felt that I could do it. If I remember, this one going... is pretty interesting. Yeah, that's the same as before. I tried to do the exact same, but I changed the target. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the action was good. I just had to change the target, so I changed the target. I think you can see in the history that I, instead of going like back, I go like back. You know, like this. <laughs> oh, it's, it's solid. Yeah, it touch you like you touch even before you come close to touching him. Yeah, it's the same as before. You know, the one that I lost sword, yeah. but but uh, yeah, the same action. I told you, I was very confident, so I would do it. You know, fourteen, thirteen. I would. I mean, I didn't know I was going to score, but I knew that it was. Probably well, either way, if that. you don't score there, you probably lose. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I could not do another like attack as the action before because I know that that kind of like action most of the time they are like double, so I yeah. could not 
Or you just put it in your pocket and you take the gift. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this one's yeah. really funny because in the slow mo, you hit him on the backhand. <laughs> yeah, this I remember. I knew I wanted to either touch, like, you know, a situation like this. I told you I go with statistics. So the only two hits that I literally made like uh, constantly were the like short hits at at the at the forehand or the the two or three flash I made that I always scored. So I knew that I had to do either or. Then I actually hit a... The back yeah, so you're like a... But because he, he forces the blade, look. Like, I I pass and he forces the blade, so I go out with, <laughs> with my... Either way, your action was good. I also remember I also remember what I saw from the inside and I literally saw my tip like going from the from one side to the <laughs> other of a back and I was like no Oh god <laughs> no <laughs> Those are you know one of the ralenties you know the action that are like one second but to me it lasted like ten. I was, like, <laughs> going... You're like oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no this is how it happened to you. Just oh shit. <laughs> but again it's 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 the correct and action you know like he was not prepared in fact you see he parried so with his, with his parry, yeah oh I actually that's why you went out so much actually yeah. here oh my god you're probably so scared yeah no i have his blade but yeah in general we we did both the kind of like correct action yeah my point of view because i know i i had to like make an attack uh, but like without the without the longer preparation because in longer preparation it was always like closing the distance and hitting me and what? he knew he had to like parry or do something like different because otherwise um i i would I yeah would he's pass. in trouble well like even yeah. here like you're like you're clearly you, you've got his blade like uh, if i'm yeah you. exactly because i i i i started from like his lower uh, part of the hand and then i went like basically straight if you look so i i kind of like take the i try to take the blade but then he like did like a counter yeah. parry so it, <laughs> but i was so ahead that 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 um yeah i passed and i don't i think if you look at like when i look at him i'm like what do you want me yeah you know, like <laughs> yeah i think I think it's right here. I don't know if All you right. can see some, somewhere, but I'm like, <laughs> uh, here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> uh, yeah, because he was like telling me, like, you hit me at the end. I was like, yeah. I still, I yeah, still won. That's part of the body. You know? like, <laughs> I don't, of course, it was not like, I you was not aiming like this. there. But... <laughs> I was not aiming there, but I took the risk. You know, I, I still say that it's, it's you know, I, I think I did something good, you know, um, but but I did the right action. In yeah, the I mean, way. it happened. You can't, yeah. like, you, you can't change time. Yeah. Which is funny. Then, and then you end up beating him again in uh, Beijing. Yeah. Yeah, in Beijing, I almost lost because I was overconfident. Because that year, I, like, won against him, like, this and I think either two or probably three times I don't remember like a lot of time because we were like uh, hitting each other a lot because of like ranking and um, and the last time I won against him I kind of won like a lot I don't remember like 15 8 let's say 9 something like that and during Olympics he was very strong I was strong too but he was like he came like there to make a result and in fact, he made a result like it was the first Spanish ever. Yeah, to, yeah that was to, a good result. And yeah, yeah, he beat like uh, Jane before that well, too. Just yeah, and then, and then he won against Bochco, the third or yeah. uh, fourth final. So he was like very strong that day. And I remember all the match. I was like, "All right, like uh, th five three for him. Okay, I I come back. You know, like then like five five then seven you know like okay okay there's time there's time there's time. at a certain point i remember my coach telling me like come on and i was like don't worry you know i told him <laughs> don't worry 
And he told me like, don't worry, what? Like you have to win now, otherwise you lose. And I was like, okay, okay. And that I, that's the moment where I realized I was like, you know, losing actually that match. And but in Beijing, if I remember, you started off a lot of your matches losing. I think all the match, but I, that's the way I I was used to fans like all the time. I'm more of like a Rocky fencer, you know, Rocky the movie, because yeah, yeah. where he gets hit in, <laughs> in the beginning and then he just wake up. No, that's the way I fence because uh, normally I was used to like try a little more, like try try uh, what my opponent uh, my opponent's you, reaction. You, you in need order information, to, like exactly. Uh... And then, yeah, so then let's see, in, in Beijing, so you had, even even your tableau was not easy. Like, your first one was Torkilson, which Torkilson, for... Torkilson, uh... then I had uh, uh, Robery, which, fun fact, uh, Robery is, like, one year older than me. And before <laughs> that that day, I never won against him once. Oh, so you went in, you're like, oh, why him? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I knew that I could, like, uh, get him like you know four or five months before because, you know yeah. you see the option of the tableau and I, will, and I actually trained uh, to fence against him because um, it was an option I didn't want yeah. to lose uh, because normally I don't work on opponent like I don't make like oh, the, the Olympics is special for that this person you know but i i work on situation but that time i like work for like let's say two three weeks one month i don't remember but like on only on like him so what, what did you work on specifically t timing basically timing because uh with french grip fencer mostly french french grip fencer, yeah uh you just have to like like it's a very very like it's very hard physically but then you have to just, in my, in, the way I fence, the only thing you have to focus is, is timing. If you do the correct timing, you just like score quite yeah. easily. If you if you try to like make too many action or or you just miss the time, you just never score because they are like so perfect in the execution and the, the choosing of the time uh, that if you, you, you can either be better than them or it's not important what you do, but when you do it. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer. Yeah, because a lot of time I know um, what you learn is as soon as someone raised the foot, if you're in the time, you're going to get it. Uh, but obviously. Yeah, I mean, it, it, also with Robbery, it was very hard in the beginning <coughs> because I was like making him do his, his game. And I li literally, if you like let them play, um, you don't understand a thing. And, and then, um, you know, I was like, you know, that day, like, I mean, I always been very, very uh, committed, like very, you know, my mind was always on that. But the day of Olympics, of course, I was like so focused on, on you know, this is like my last chance. Even if it was my first chance in, in my mind, it was like, I'm here, I have to win. Like, yes. you know, no other options. Every four years, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and, and actually I was right, you know, because uh, four years after I was still strong, but I got injured, so I could not go to, to the next Olympics. Mm. And then Rio, I had some problem with the coach, so I could not go to the other Olympics, you know, and, you know, actually I did one Olympics, so, uh, I mean, it went pretty well because I won and then I made the, the bronze with, with the yeah. team, but, if you know, if you, you, you never know what, what the future holds, so... Might as well live in the moment yeah, and, and do enjoy the best everything. You can, you know, exactly. So that day, I was like, "I'm not gonna lose, not at all." All right. And since we only have like maybe five minutes, so let's just skip. So this moment, probably like the best moment of your life. Uh, Fourteen nine. At that point, like, did you know you were gonna win? Or like, I mean, you're pretty sure because you're like the bout started bad, but then you were in control the whole time. So literally, thirty nine. <laughs> No. 49, yes. That was the only moment I was like, okay, I won. So till here, I was like, mm. the moment I scored the 14, I was like, yeah, I, I, 
I want. If you look at the, the face, I like the two seconds before, you know, like I look at my coach and and they don't they don't they don't um uh so like before even the hand. LA started, you knew you were trying to Yeah, I told the, I told my oh, friends told before <laughs> before leaving Italy that I was going to do that. <laughs> oh, so okay, that one's for your friends. I have I have people I have people uh, that could tell you that can confirm. Uh, so that was my like uh, signature, but except for that, um, this action was an action that I I I tried uh, with my coach uh, because when I fence with Janet, I didn't fence a lot with Janet. Uh, individually, I fenced like one or two times before, and I actually lost both times. But we we did fence by teams a couple of times, and uh, we were fencing pretty good. Like I was, like I knew, like he was not, like he was overconfident with other people. With me, no, in in team. Hmm. And once I did that, we were like four four, and and I did that that touch, and and I scored, and I won my partial partial. So then I, I when we were talking about like possible um, opponents at the at the the Olympics with my coach that we talk a lot as you can see, <laughs> and uh, uh, I told him like if we are like 14 14 I'm gonna do that because it's not going to expect mm. this kind of action in that kind of moment. Oh, so even beyond and, 14 9 you're like I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah 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 I was like uh, I thought about that action for like. 14 all as you like as you see yeah. with the macro you know like it was an action that to me it was like pretty like i was very confident on doing that and 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 i was actually scoring a lot it's not like i could not do like 15 eight of that but like one once every you know oh, one or twice a match it, it was working so i was using it for like i was saving it for the last touch because I thought we were going to that there there was a big chance that I if I was arriving you know in the final I was going to be against Chanet at, at that Olympics, and a lot of people was talking about the final between me and him because he was like the strongest and I was very very strong that year I won three competitions the fourth was Olympics so I was very very strong very good shape like two years that I was in a very good shape so everybody knew that the final was between me and him but I was I wanted to be there prepared and oh, I always wanted to be prepared uh, in competition so yeah so I, in fact when I was 14 9 I look at my coach and like I made him a little sign like and I was <laughs> like I'm going to do that and he told me like and he was like okay okay I approve so I did, you know because I uh, because I told him before, and he told me like it's a good option. Then we talk, blah blah blah. Then we didn't really talk, and and then you know, I look at him forty nine. I'm like, I, I made him like this sign. I was like, you know, I made like What's a happening? circle, and I was like, <laughs> and he was like, okay, <laughs> so I, I did it. Oh, that's cool. And then yeah, uh, and I guess the year after, my Angelo went to uh, Russia, right? The year after, he went to Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland, yeah, yeah. And then the Swiss started winning a lot. Switzerland and then Russia. And then Russia, yeah. I mean, in the beginning, like, to me, you know, that moment was, was a tragedy. But just, but, but there was, because it was like, there was a big tragedy in my life, you know, because in that year, like, Carlo, the, 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 the national team coach, the, the person who selected me, which I was, like, in a very good relationship, he died. Oh. Then my first coach died. Oh my god, then my, girlfriend, sad then my girlfriend at the time like left me and we were like kinda I'm not saying supposed to be married, but like we were like Yeah, no, I mean you're allowed couple, to be you know? hurt. So. Yeah. And then Angelo, you know, went away, I was like, come on, like what else? You know? And so it was a really tough time in my life. And uh so in the beginning mm. it stood like on my side like he was like tr still training me a little bit uh because he knew that i was like really hurt in general i mean i guess and then in fact, you I would... lived in milan right or something yeah, like that yeah. and then so you can I go live... to uh switzerland relatively easily 
Yeah, actually, we were meeting in Parma because Angela is from Parma, and and you know I was going there sometimes when it was like at its house, but you know I literally I asked later I was the last one Angelo told that he was going to Switzerland, last person. Oh, like really? Everybody so... knew except for me because he didn't want to like hurt me because he knew that I was like in a you know in a moody like really hard oh, situation. He cared about you. Yeah, yeah, in his way, I mean, he still cares. We, he is not very, like, he's not one of the person. It's not a big hugger, you know, like or whatever. But yeah, I can, I can, I know he cares about me for sure. Still now, we are polite friends, you know, like polite we, friends. We, <laughs> yeah, you know, we we mess like actually messaged him like two days ago or whatever. But we don't like we talk like six times a year probably, you know. But we we have a. Good oh, he went to Israel now. I don't know. He was born in like. Oh no! Like he he went. He's coaching Israel now. Ah uh, yeah, he's coaching. Israel. Yeah. Sorry, I saw that. We had to fence uh, Israel at the last World Cup. And yeah, I was like, that guy looks Israel. familiar. I'm like. <laughs> I don't think he stays there. I think he just go there sometimes. But yeah, oh, okay. he's like maybe he's coach. 